Hey everybody, coming to you from the, the basement of the Whitman house. Actually a, a storage room that I've converted into a, a workout facility. It's not a space I let very many people see, but I've got uh, some equipment here in the corner, treadmill, got a Peloton bike that hoping the kids got me for Father's Day last year. Got here some, some dumbbells, great rack. I actually bought this rack, funny story, off Coach Turner uh, when I was in law school. He had it custom made for his boys, fit in their basement, and I've lugged that with me all over the country, from here to D.C. to Wisconsin to St. Louis, and now back to Champaign, and then just a couple more a couple more weights. It's, what I found is that once my day gets started, I don't have a lot of control sometimes of how it's going to end, and so I spent a lot of early mornings down here. You can find me if I'm in town 4.30 to 6.30 or so, which is about when the kids wake up uh, down here, getting a good sweat. Sometimes I lift, sometimes I run, sometimes I bike. Uh, try and do some combination, but it's a great way to collect my thoughts and put a little time into myself uh, before the rigors of the day get started. I just wanted to take a minute. Uh, this is unprecedented. The situation, these times, doesn't matter how old you are, none of us have ever experienced anything like this. We're all doing the best we can in an incredibly uncertain time. And for the last 10 days, we have worked day and night, led by so many incredible members of our staff, to be sure that our 500 student athletes and our 300 staff members have had our, our top priority all of our attention. I feel like we've gotten to a place now where we have them well positioned. Everybody understands the circumstance. Everybody understands the challenge. Everybody's embraced that and, and come together in moments of adversity, which is what you hope to see. But now it, we thought it was a good time for me to just say a quick hello, tell you how much we think about you let you know that we know this is a hard time. There's a lot of people who are sick, and a lot of people who are dying, and that's scary for all of us. As I said, nobody's ever experienced anything like this before. I, th I think as a, as a human race, we're built to be together. We're built to be around each other, to interact, to show affection, anger, concern. And now when we all have to retreat to our respective homes, we all feel like something's missing. We're trying to find ways to connect. And uh, as we've talked about things within our athletic program, one of the goals that we have in the weeks and months ahead, however long it might be, is we're gonna try and connect with each other and with you. And so you're going to see more things like this. We want to give you a chance to get to know us in a different way, a chance to understand who we are, the people behind the curtain, so to speak, the people who are helping to make Illinois athletics something that you can be proud of. Because at the end of the day, and you've all heard me say this, I truly feel like we're a family. Families need to know each other. They need to come together in really hard moments, come through stronger than they were when they started. Adversity brings people together, strengthens relationships. Right now, we have a lot of challenge in front of us, not just in athletics. This is way bigger than athletics. We've got challenges as a university, as a, as a broader community, as a nation, and really as, as an entire world. So let's keep our eye on the ball. Let's look out for one another. Keep yourselves healthy. Keep your neighbors healthy. Keep your families healthy. Make good decisions. It's amazing how something like this can help put so many other things in perspective. We've had that conversation over and over again with our coaches, with our staff, with our student athletes. What we do matters, it matters a lot. But when something like this hits, it reminds us of what truly matters. 
It's, it's our own health. It's the health of our families, the people we care about. It's the health of our community and of our world. We all have a role to play in that. Now, the other thing that's been incredibly reassuring is the role that sports plays in our world. There are a lot of things that have changed here over the last two weeks, but the absence of the games, whether you're talking about the NCAA tournament, NBA basketball, spring training, the absence of the games, the Masters, has left this void. And it's been a great reminder of the power that sports has to bring people together. And so with that in mind, our, our goal as we work through this together is to try and do just that. We know the times are hard out there. We know that people are losing their jobs, losing their savings, losing their businesses. We know that people are sick. We know that some people are dying. In the midst of all that, we're going to try and provide a little ray of hope, a reminder about what's so great about life, what's so great about sports, the power to connect to people, the power of memories. We're going to give you some things to reflect on and smile about. We're going to give you some things to look forward to. We're going to continue to challenge you. We're going to try and make you laugh, maybe make you cry, make you reflect and remember. Feel incredibly humbled to be your athletic director. And I know that our athletic program, the people within it, feel an incredible sense of responsibility in moments like this to provide an outlet to be a rallying cry for people, to give you a release from some of the daily struggle that we're all feeling right now. So thanks for all you're doing. Now, this was an unbelievable year. It got cut short, but there's incredible opportunity and momentum that we can build on, and incredible care and concern that we saw shown day in and day out. We appreciate each and every one of you, appreciate our staff, our student athletes, so many people who have done what they need to do here in the last 10 days, two weeks, to put us on the right track, to lick in this thing as fast as we can. One of the real reasons I chose to bring you down here was to share the sign on the wall. I hope you'll forgive the language, but, uh, this is one of my most prized possessions. See if I can get it in the frame here. This was given to me by my high school football coach, one of the most important, influential people in my life. And he retired my senior year. We went out together, stayed close ever since. But that sign hung behind his desk. And when he retired, he gave it to me. I've hung it on the wall every place I've ever lived. It's always been a great reminder to continue to focus on what you want most, not to be distracted by what happens in the moment. I think we all would be wise to keep that lesson in mind here in the weeks and months ahead. Let's keep our eyes on the biggest prize. Let's remember that this is about community. It's about people. It's about relationships, it's about love. And if we do that, we'll come through this a stronger, more resilient, more powerful people, emboldened to do unbelievable things in this world that none of us have ever dreamed to dare about, dared to dream about thus far. So with that, we look forward to having some fun. We look forward to giving you some memories. We look forward to looking forward to a, a bright future, not just in Illinois athletics, uh, but across this great country and around the globe. So thanks for all you're doing. Stay safe and uh, know that we're thinking about you and we care about you. And uh, we'll talk to you real soon. ILL.